And joining us now for a preview of tonight's presidential debate is retired four-term congressman and now ABC News contributor, John Katko. John, thanks for being here. Always good to see you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Um, so that first presidential debate a, a few months ago, uh, we know that it entirely changed this whole race. So I'm going to ask you about tonight. Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, how big is this debate for both of the candidates? Well, I mean, we, our country's almost 250 years old, and the most consequential debate always was considered the Nixon-Kennedy uh, debate in 1960 until this year, when Biden basically imploded on the screen and led to his uh, not choosing not to run again for re-election. So uh, we have a chance of having the second most consequential debate happening in the same year in our nation's history. The race is very, very close. People still don't know who Kamala Harris is that much. So the country needs to hear from her tonight. And uh, the stakes are very high for both sides. No what, question about it. What, what will you be watching for tonight? Well, two things. Uh, how uh, Harris handles the heat, because of course it'll be heat, and how she does on her feet, and can she articulate her views in a way that gives comfort to the American people. That's one side of it. And the other side is, can the former president stay on track or will he revert to his normal tendency to get into the gutter? And if he can avoid getting into the gutter, he's going to be in good shape. But I just don't know if he's capable of res resisting it, that urge. So uh, there's a lot at stake for both sides. And uh, there's only about 10% of the American people who decide most elections. Everybody will usually vote Democrat or Republican. About 10% are those swing voters. And they're going to be watching intently tonight. And that's why this race is so close. Yeah, so I mean, lots of talk about fact-checking, mute buttons, things like that. Who stays on track? What message? Uh, what, I guess, can Americans get out of this debate? I mean, how should all of us be watching tonight? I think America, what they can get out of this is, okay, we've heard all the bluster on both sides. We've heard all the invective and all the nonsense. But now we're going to get to judge these people one-on-one uh, -on -one and see. Mm -hmm. And if you think about the debate in 1960 between Kennedy and Nixon, on substance, Nixon probably won, but Kennedy just had a better presence about him, and that was enough for the American people. So uh, it's not just what you say, but sometimes it's even more important mm -hmm. how you say it. Mm -hmm. And I think tonight is going to be a real judge of that for the American people. Um, what have you seen from the, the two candidates on the campaign trail, uh, obviously, just within the last uh, few months here? Well, you see a lot of um, concentration on, on the swing states. Mm. And the fact that uh, some of the southern states like Georgia and possibly North Carolina are back in play. And I saw something t t today where Florida is a lot closer than Trump would probably like it. Means that they're really concentrating in those states where they have a chance to flip the narrative. I mean, states like New York and California, they're going to go the way they're going to go. And everyone knows that. But they're both concentrating on the swing states, and that's going to decide the election. Hmm. Uh, what are the chances we see uh, another debate between these two? I would I would guess since they haven't agreed to one already, this is probably going to be it. But, uh, you know, in this election cycle, we've seen so many strange things happen. A president decided not to run again and after imploding in a debate. Uh, another candidate being shot at a rally. Uh, and now we have a new candidate, maybe a female uh, uh, minority uh, uh, presidential candidate for the first time in our nation's history. So. The way it's going, anything could happen, but right okay. now I'd be surprised if there's more than one debate. So that heightens the importance of this debate, mm -hmm. debate even more. Um, last one before I let you go, I've got about 45 seconds here. Uh, how important will the vice presidential debate be? I believe that's scheduled for October the 1st or early October. So how important is that? Does that really factor in? You know, generally the vice presidential debates don't move the needle very much, mm -hmm. uh, if, if at all. But if uh, one of the, you know, and when you have a race this close, it may make a difference. But uh, generally it does not. But given how close it is, I, I would not uh, look past it. If one of the candidates implodes in that debate, well, then, you know, that's going to be a factor. So uh, in a race this close, uh, everything's important, even including the, uh, the vice presidential debate. I'm sure uh, many, many people will be watching. They should be. Uh, John sure. Kirko, you know I always uh, appreciate your insight and, and your perspective on things. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll catch up with you uh, really soon. Can't wait to talk about how it, how it went. <laughs>